So we're going to start on the Hilux today. So the plan for today hopefully is going to be pulling the head off the engine and the timing cover as well. Uh, the reason we've got to do the timing cover is because I'm going to be pulling out the balance shafts in the engine. They rob some oil pressure and all of the high horsepower 3RZs that have stock internals have been uh, without balance shafts in them and they've made pretty good power. So yeah, I've also seen other people who have had balance shafts in and they reckon their number three bearing let go because it didn't have enough oil pressure. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to not talk too much. Going to get ready with pulling all of the exhaust manifold, intake manifold, and all the shit off as well on the front, the bumper, and the grill. Okay, so I've pulled out the intercooler piping and everything and the radiator itself from inside the engine bay. Uh, so with the Hilux, it has a clutch fan radiator. Well, the fan itself is on a clutch from a pulley on the engine, so it's not electric. Uh, I was originally going to get rid of this and just put in an electric fan when I start boosting it, but um, the guy that um, is going to tune it for me, he still has his clutch fan. He reckons it's just really easy and you don't have to worry about wires to it, so I reckon I'll just keep mine. But what I am going to do is um, get rid of the air conditioning because the air conditioning condenser, it does get in the way. I mean... Air conditioning is nice, and especially in Perth in the summer, you really do want it, but yeah, it's not cool if you're like boosting, you know, less power, you know, because the pulley's turning the um, the condenser. Yeah, so to get, especially to get into the front of the engine where the balance shafts and the timing chain cover is down in there, I'm going to need access to it from the front here, which the uh, air conditioning heat sink is in the way of, so... Yeah, I'm going to um, let out the gas and um, fuck off everything I don't need as far as the air conditioning goes. Okay, so I've pulled the intake manifold off now and what I'm going to go through now is find all of the leads for each sensor and label them. So you can see I've got throttle position sensor here and then injector 2 and I'm going to go through all of the sensors and just label each one and then what that'll mean is after I've got the whole harness like easily uh, accessible I'm gonna put the battery connect the battery back up uh, turn the car to accessories on and find out which wires are the positives and I'm gonna label them so that I know which wires to run the 5 volt signal to from the ECU from the new wiring harness but yeah as far as that goes <clears throat> got all the belts off the front of the engine I'm getting ready to pull off the condenser now um, yeah everything else is running pretty smooth and then we should be able to pull the head off okay so I've pulled the valve cover off now and I'm just about to take the head off uh, the thing you gotta watch for in the 3RZ is down in here there's a, a chain tensioner, I've taken mine out right now, it goes on the side of the block down here, hang on down there just where that hole is down there, that's where it sticks through and you've got to make sure so you get, when you take the head off there has to be no tension on the chain and so now what you need to do is you need to undo the main cam gear. You need to mark it on like three spots, I'd say, two or three spots. But if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it, but I'm also going to cable tie it to the actual gear so it stays in the same timing. And I'm going to suspend the gear when I pull the head off just to make it easy. What you have to do, though, is you have to pull off both the camshafts before you can take the head off. In some cars like Volkswagens, you can pull the head off because the bolts are accessible beside the cam gears, the camshafts, but here it's not. I've managed to get the head off the engine. This thing will focus, there we go. So yeah, I've got the head off. It's quite an effort. Uh, there's a lot of things that I didn't expect I needed to do, but I did. And yeah, it's all off, and I've labelled up the wiring harness, all of the uh, sensors. So, as far as that goes now, I'm pretty much done for the night. I'm going to be pulling off the um, sump and the pickup tube for the oil pump and then pulling off the timing chain cover tomorrow. Going to get rid of the uh, air conditioning condenser and pull all the pulleys off. Hopefully the uh, main bolt on the uh, main idler pulley isn't too tight, but I mean we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. And uh, anyway, as far as it goes with the parts that are in the shed, I've got all my parts laid out down here and all of the parts in order on the bench for the head and that I have made a mistake by not putting the service bolt in the exhaust cam so 
the teeth are out of a line now, so I'm gonna have to probably grab a, another set of hands from someone to help me uh, with lining that up when I'm all done. But apart from that, everything's all good. Uh, I have heard from my tuner that the cam position sensor, uh, I need to make that go inside the block a tiny bit more, like um, give it a shim or something to put it in a bit further so that it is able to talk with the a Link ECU. But um, I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff should wire in pretty simply and pretty easily. And uh, I'm also going to pull out all the valve springs and uh, relap the valves, polish the uh, chambers, maybe even... don't know if I'll bother porting them, but I'll give them a nice polish up, make them look good. And yeah, just re reseat the valves. Apart from that, everything's all good. Going to get work working on cleaning everything up and getting into bed tonight. Okay, so it's another day. I've already got the uh, air conditioning compressor off and I'm working on getting the sump off now, right now. And uh, something you've got to be careful of, uh, I already did vent the, um, uh, the gas. <clears throat> and yeah, it's, uh, it vented once, but um, you've got to be careful that there's no trapped pressure in the system still. So every time you undo one of the fittings, you undo the nut about halfway and then you give it a whack with a hammer and make sure it's not containing any pressure still but yeah mine wasn't at all so I can pull these lines away and there's so much more room now it's gonna be awesome means I can fit a sick turbo manifold in there yeah and anyway that's about it okay so finally got the timing chain cover off so this is what it looks like oh shit sorry Whoa, nearly fell over Alright, this is the front of the timing chain here, and so what I'm going to do while I'm in here is remove the balance shafts, so that's one, that's two there, and as well as that, just remove the chain and the, um, yeah, just everything to do with the balance shafts, and then there's bearings that sit inside there, and you knock them out and rotate them 90 degrees so they plug up the oil hole, and as well as that, you need to drill and tap one of the oil holes in the front of the block, but apart from that... That's all that there is to do while I'm in here. I'm probably chucking a new gasket because this one's disgusting. Or I'll just send it with a shit ton of uh, gasket maker, you know, like a true Australian. But yeah, um, so the bolts on the front of the timing chain, there's some on the back as well as the front. You can see I've got, on these two, I've put... Uh, just nuts on the front of them because there are two nuts that are on the front of the timing chain uh, The studs come out of the block up here So the nuts that I put on there will just uh, screw on to the ends of those studs that I just pointed out before But apart from that, that's what the uh, timing chain cover bolts Pattern is down here. These aren't the bolts from the block. These are the bolts from the knock sensor. I believe it's the knock sensor no, sorry, I'm the, the crank angle sensor. But anyway, yeah, that's that's where we're at. So something you've also got to be careful of is while I had the timing cover on still, I wanted to turn the engine over um, to set it to top dead center, but I'd taken the uh, tensioner out, the timing chain tensioner. So I heard it skip teeth. So now it's out of timing with the, um, the belt itself, the chain, sorry. And so I'm going to have to reset the timing. You do it off... Uh, one of the links, I believe, is uh, uh, link uh, is brighter than the other ones, and you can set it off that, I believe. But I'll have to look at the service manual. And with taking the sump off, which is what you need to do when you're taking the timing chain cover off, you need to drop down the uh, drag link steering. It's a really shit job because, yeah, it's just I've done this once before, and I had to buy completely new tie rods because my old ones were just seized in. But I didn't have any problems this time. Like, comment, subscribe, you know. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated when I post a new video.